Hello, 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 y'all. This is the rest of the month for October, okay? So, the mid-October reading for all of the signs. I do have them marked in their category. I'll tell you when we get to the ones that we're on. Um, let's go ahead and start, okay? Like I said, this will go all the way through the end of this month. Okay, this is Gemini. Right away, look how they stacked up and aligned. This right here, Gemini is going through some kind of healing um, or I was going to say divine healing. That, I guess, will be up to, you know, to everybody. You know, everybody's different. Um, but it's more like self-healing. Okay, so maybe you're healing from your trauma. Okay. Look how it goes from, and this is the foundation. Okay. So, it's like you build yourself back up, Gemini. Okay, now, I'm seeing here that you've got love, you've got excitement, you've got, um, this is your spirituality. However, I'm getting, because of these being aligned, I feel like you're, maybe you're learning it, maybe you're, Join in a group. Maybe you're um, going to take classes. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, whatever this is, you're, it brings you a lot of joy and aligns you to where you feel like you have your life back. Okay. I feel like this has been a cycle that's been going on for a long time. Okay. That was for Gemini. <coughs> Excuse me. This is Aquarius. Aquarius. You have friendship, love, romance. Um, it can be calmness, but actually when I say that, I even hear like a, a little giggle, okay? But something here on your foundation will concern love or romance or your friends, okay? Now, like, when I say romance, I sh well, I probably should have said flirty, okay? Or playfulness because over here, you have your passion and however you want to call it on top. Um... Look how yours is coming into alignment, but that way, okay? You, I feel like, are about to tip over because I feel like you need to balance life more, okay? You are either working too much, not, not having enough family time, or you're opposite, okay? You may have kids that are not getting attention, um, I do see that your health is going to be a concern. Um, some of you guys may start your own business with whatever it is that you do. And, or maybe you're thinking about it. Um, you're going to have some psychic downloads during your dreams here, okay? It may even be about your health or someone's health, okay? With the friendship on the bottom, this could also be a shake-up or end with a friend, or it could be a reconciliation with one, okay? All right, Libra, for the rest of this month here, I'm seeing that you're going to heal a connection, uh, a romantic one, 
someone that you care deeply for, but it's not about the sex. It's about the feelings and you want to build something with them. Do you see how they're laying on top of each other? You want to create something with them. Um, there may be an age difference here. And I also get there may be children involved. I'm hearing the name Scott for some reason. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Now, there is some something with this that's going to make you extremely happy. Um, I feel like you're going to be healing from somebody's betrayal, whether it was yours or theirs. Okay, you guys are going to work through it. Okay, Scorpio, good Lord, my fellow Scorpios here. Of course, you guys would have four tower mo moments here um, in the rest of the month. Um, <laughs> so, you are going to be basically, I I've got your health, okay? Something may go on with your health, um, and it might be shocking, um, there will, but I am saying that there, there's going to be some healing. Um, I'm also seeing depression, okay, and sadness. Um, you may need to work on your mental health. Your heart chakra. I feel like you're questioning something with your spirituality because I, I'm seeing these two on top of each other and it, and it's like they're connected unless um, unless you're like me and, and your heart is your spirituality, okay? Um, maybe you're working on your relationship with God. Maybe you're trying to make sure things are right with Him. Um, we do have unconditional love here you do um i also am seeing how these are you may be reunited with a twin flame or a soulmate um i feel like you guys although you have the most towers i'm getting that well you're scorpio of course you're, tra you're transformative. Um, you're used to it by now, right? I feel like you're going to build up and be stronger than ever, ever. Okay? Um, there's something, I'm, I'm really pulled towards the groin area with this. Um, something may be going on with your groin or, or, um, lady parts or something okay all right now we have got pisces pisces you are having a spiritual awakening about something um you're questioning things you are starting to talk about did you notice that tree did you notice that bird um Maybe you're learning how to ground, okay? Um, I feel like you thought that this was maybe a joke um, or maybe you were skeptical at one point, but I feel like you've had some kind of experience that has made you cling to God, the universe, spirit, your spirituality, whatever it is. Okay, your salvation through a tower moment. Okay. Um, I'm seeing the number two like crazy for you. And I keep hearing jolly. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, Cancer. 
cancer. I don't, I don't even know where to go and begin with yours. It's ridiculous. I mean, if you've got love on your damn mind, period. Um, it's like I'm seeing two and two. You are going to want to either reconcile or if you're in a relationship or you're wanting to go like move forward, okay? Like engagement or something. I do not feel like this other party involved is exactly where you want to be, okay? Um, I do feel like you guys are each other's person. But I feel like they're a little bit more standoffish than you. Um, you are excited about this. You are ready. I, and Cancer, you guys have been, you know, pushing away everybody for quite some time now. So it looks like you're going to pull in somebody that you are reminiscing about. Okay. All right. So Taurus. Someone may be getting engaged or married. Um, someone doesn't quite belong or they don't feel they do. Um, I feel like maybe their religion is making them feel like they're just out of their element or something. Okay. Um, or let's say your whole family is Catholic, but you're Baptist, okay? So like the black sheep. Um, you have a lot of joy, a lot, okay? Um, you have healed so well, even in alignment here. Um, now, I do see that there could have been a friendship that you ended or healed, okay? Um, also, that could be that somebody, how I said family's Catholic, but somebody else is Baptist, maybe somebody, um, whatever that word is, <laughs> Like if they're going to get married or something. I don't know. There's some kind of ceremony here. All right. Okay. Um, if you get a health scare, it's going to be okay. Now, we've got Virgo. Jesus. You're as bad as Scorpio, I think. Okay. So, love is definitely on your mind. Um, so is health um you may be having some health issues or health problems or taking care of something i'm seeing all this creativity and interest into with your religion or whatever it is you believe <coughs> I do feel like something has ended here. It could be with love. Um, there is going to be a small, clouded, like, and when I guess when I see that, this is negativity or something coming your way, okay? But it's not very big. It's small. It won't last long or not as long as the, the rest of them has. Um, this one could be, um, this is your health. This could be um, the health of the person that you care for. So it could be anybody, okay, that's connected to you. Um, I don't know why I'm saying two, four, six, eight. So maybe you need to watch 
those um, numbers like that, okay? Um, also, I'm getting the throat chakra. Um, you need to make sure you, you speak your words, okay? Communication is key. Um, that's really all I see. And I'm seeing number one, okay? All right. So, Capricorn. I think, I know Capricorns have had it rough. I know they have. However, I'm hearing, you're a stingy motherfucker. <laughs> That's just what I'm hearing, okay? Um, you have, like, kicked someone out, uh, like, I don't know if out of your life, out of your your church, I don't know. Um, this has to do with someone that, like, you're very um, insightful, maybe psychic here, okay? Um, but I, I, I feel a lot of jealousy. I feel a lot of, um, and that's odd because it's not normally, I wouldn't get that, but it's you feel like you are uh, more advanced than this person, I guess. This also could mean that you are going, you know, maybe you've been too cocky and you're going to be knocked down a notch or two, okay? I'm seeing something with your health here, especially in the heart area. Um... And I just heard foot. Okay. If this is to do with a life partner, love, whatever. Um, make sure it's what you want. Okay. Okay. Now we are at Aries. Aries. I do feel like you are between two choices in love here, okay? What's crazy is the one that, okay, this is, it's kind of like you're cheating on your girlfriend, but what you don't know is the one you're cheating with is cheating on you, okay, is what I'm seeing. Um, it's going to be a smack in your damn face if you don't quit your shit, all right? Um, it's going to, I, I feel this will end up leading to a really bad depression. I am seeing that someone may relocate. I am also seeing that someone is needing to, um, check their, um, nutrients or the way they eat their diet um i also get that if you are one to um connect to the earth and the the um the plants um i'm seeing that you may have no choice but to reach out to somebody to do that for somebody's health. I do not feel like it's yours, though. I feel like it's somebody older than you, okay? All right. That was Aries. Okay, Sag. Sag, you got a lot on you. Um, I feel like you've got a clouded mind or judgment. Um... You need to get some help with something. Um, your depression is just awful. I feel like you can't concentrate. I feel like you can't focus at work. You're, I do feel like you are religious or spiritual. Um, but I feel like you're at the point where, why? You know, it's like, why? Why does it matter? Does anybody care? That's That's what this is like. Um, I do feel like you're going to get help 
from either um, a group or it could be a energy healer or someone connected, okay? But I feel like that's probably not going to be until the end of the month, right at the end or early November, okay? All right, now we have Leo. Leo, you are healing from the biggest health scare or accident or something that has happened to you, okay? You are healing from it. Um, it has, you might, someone might have had a near uh, death experience. Um, you are all about the earth right now. You are all about your health. You are getting in shape. You are, you're, you're realizing that you are the priority, you know? Um, we can't take care of kids. We can't take care of parents. We can't take care of anybody if we don't take care of ourselves. Okay. It is not selfish to love ourselves. We need to. We have to. And that is what you have figured out finally. Okay. You are really coming into alignment. You are like at peace. Okay. Um, like total peace, like you might have have either like found your inner peace and higher self, okay? All right, y'all, that's what I got, friends. If you like this reading, let me know, and I'll do it more often. I just wanted to try something different, see if y'all like it, okay? All right, bye.